Hi there. Hi guys. Welcome back. I'm so glad that you're here. Whew. Hope you've been having a great day. Oh, I know. Sometimes it isn't as great as we had hoped, right? Sometimes some things happen in our day that we didn't expect. And well, sometimes those can be great things. And sometimes those can be wah, wah, not so great things. Mm. Well, either way, I'm so glad that we are here now, that we get to talk about our day, see how you're doing, check in, make sure that you're doing okay, how you're feeling, and um, what you're doing about it. I did some video uh, videos a while back about breathing. Have you been practicing your breathing? Yeah, I know. Sometimes breathing just seems like, I don't get it. I can do breathing all by myself. Look at me. <sighs> yeah, but there's some kinds of breathing that we were talking about that help us just kind of relax our muscles and relax our whole way of thinking and can center us a little bit better so that we can help make better choices and um, maybe rethink what we're going through and just really take a break. Can breathing solve all your problems? Maybe not. But I definitely know that breathing can help you face your problem in a better state of mind and a better um, relaxed body so that you don't have as much tension and feeling aches and pains and things. Well, at least it's a start, right? Well, maybe today, if you haven't tried it, maybe you can. Give it a try. Let me know how that helped you. Did it help you? Would you like to learn more about it? That's what I'm here for because I care so much about you. And I want you to be the best you that you possibly can be. And sometimes it just takes someone listening and someone that's always showing up. And I hope that you have that and you realize that there are people surrounding you in your family and you have friends and maybe at your school or wherever you are in your place of worship if you attend or in your community, there are many other people there too. The librarians, people even at the store. And you know what? Sometimes it can just start with you. And that can just be as easy as having a smile on your face or at least waving at someone. It doesn't mean that we have to start a whole big conversation, especially when you're near people you don't really know. We do have to still be careful. But it doesn't mean that we have to be not looking and not very nice because just a smile and a wave is being very nice, especially to someone who maybe just felt kind of invisible to everybody. And maybe they don't have a friend or you know what? Maybe even if you're going out of a door, you can hold it open for the next person. That's all. It just starts with that. I know that you are super smart and you have super ideas in your mind that you could use to be kind and helpful. And if you don't, go back to read one of our other stories with us about being kind and what that looks like. You'd be surprised. You don't have to spend a lot of money and you don't have to come up with some crazy ideas. But if you do, wow, that's pretty impressive too. <laughs> ah, you guys are always amazing me. Well, speaking of that, it reminds me to make sure that you like and subscribe so that we can get together again and we can be on this learning adventure together, learning about all different kinds of things like feelings and how to breathe and what does it mean just to be able to start that conversation with your trusted adult. And hey, if you like these stories, please be sure to invite someone over so that they can hear our stories with us too. I have a great one and it's about friends. And what does it mean to be a friend? Do we have to do some crazy things to make sure that they like us at all times? Oh, that would wear us out, don't you think? Oh, you can have one friend. You can have five friends. You might even have 20, 30, 40, 
hundreds of friends. And what does that mean? How are you going to treat them all? And how do you want to be treated? Hmm, good question. I happen to work where I see lots of kids and sometimes kids are friends for a day, maybe two, and maybe a whole week long. And then, you know, they start to see someone else and become friends with them. And then before they know it, they have made new friends here, there, everywhere. And sometimes the things that we like bring us together. And sometimes the things that we like kind of make us look for other friends that may like the same thing. So there's no real surefire way to make and keep a friend, but there definitely are some ways that we don't want to lose a friend, right? Well, listen, it's every day a learning event, and I have a book about it that can start the conversation. And that's the whole important part about this. I want you to be able to look at these books and find yourself in the books. And if you don't, that's okay too. Maybe it helps you think about one of your friends who's going through something. And it's going to be able to help you start a conversation. You can bring things up and you can ask. Or if you're the one feeling a certain way about it, it gives you the words that you might need to be able to explain how you're feeling. Well, however it works out, I hope that you will enjoy today's story about friends. And our book is called Capybara is Friends with Everyone. Oh, that's a pretty big statement right there. Well, at the very least, I hope that if you can't be friends with everyone in this whole big wide world, that you will be kind. And kindness overrules quite a bit, and it's so important. Well, this story was written by Maddie Frost. Now, this is a read aloud that I interact and I talk and I ask questions and I point out different things with you. If you like this book, please be sure to go visit your local library, whether it's at school or in your community, or I'm sure you can find it online as well. You can type in the title and the author's name, and please also consider supporting the author by maybe even purchasing your own book. And maybe you can start your own reading club too and have your friends come around and explore some of these stories that we've been talking about. Sound good? I hope so. All right, guys. So I need you. I always say we listen with our ears and we look with our eyes because our eyes can see things that our ears don't always hear. If someone's not explaining how they feel, our eyes can see maybe how the person is feeling by looking at their eyes, how they're bending their head or lifting it up high or looking away. We get a lot of clues from watching. All right, here we go. Shake off those sillies, listen with your heart, and open ears. Capybara is friends with everyone. Being a great friend means going above and beyond. Dust, 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 dust. Oh, look, these must be pictures of all his different friends, and he's dusting it off. Wow. Take it from me. I have 4,382 friends. Wow. That's pretty amazing. It's important my friends always know I, I'm here for them. Which is why I start each day with an announcement. I wonder what that announcement's going to be. Are any of my amazing friends in need of assistance? Like a helping hand. Do you need me to do anything? Then I spring into action. Oh, let me get that for you. Will this one work? Oh, 
<laughs> his friend here was picking up a stick and he went and he gathered a whole bunch of different ones and was asking him, will this one work? Who's ready for ants? <laughs> These are ant eaters and they eat ants. So he came and he got some ants for them. Oh my, Capybara is busy. I will do anything for my friends. Their convenience is my number one concern. Grabbed your lunch, got your mail, watered your plants. <laughs> oh, he surprised him, he was in his mailbox. Watering his plants, oh my. Rain or shine, day or night, I go the extra mile for my friends. Is this good? Mm, just one more mile. Because this is what a great friend looks like. Wow, out in the rain, his friends are sitting in the wagon with an umbrella over them, and he's going to drag that wagon through the rain all the way down another mile in the rain. That's right. Uh, um, hmm, Capybara sees someone in the tree. What is that? A sloth, right? <gasps> oh my gosh, I don't believe it. I have a friend I haven't met yet. Oops. This calls for my super special Capybara new friend song. Hi, hello, new friend. My name is Capybara. I'm gonna jump and cheer up. It's such a happy day, the happiest days of days. There is no better day because I met you today. Hooray! I don't know how it really went. I gave it a try. Hmm. He was dancing his little heart out trying to make a new friend. But as we see, he hasn't moved, he hasn't smiled, he hasn't given him any clue as to what he would like to do with that song and that greeting from this new person that he's meeting or this new possible friend. Copybar said, hmm, maybe you don't like music. I know. flowers or a bunt cake, a gift basket full of bath time essentials, oh, bubbles and a brush and a rubber ducky. <laughs> he went all out trying to see if he would like flowers instead or maybe he, he made a cake and went and got him a whole bunch of things for a nice time in the bathtub. <laughs> Uh-oh, let's look with our eyes. Look at Capybara. He's got a huge smile as he's holding up a gift to the sloth. Uh oh, now look at Capybara. He dropped the basket and it looks like he's thinking, but he doesn't look too happy now. Does he have a smile anymore? No, looks concerned, worried even. Why would he look worried? That he can't make a new friend? Oh no, he was trying so hard. Um, what about a mosaic or a Zen garden? I carved you a statue with my little webbed feet. Now he was really trying harder and harder to make a new friend. Uh, what do you say? Friends? Has Sloth moved? Not really. Look at Capybara, got a big tall ladder and went right up next to him. I don't understand. Is it me? Is it something I said? Are my webbed feet too webby? <sighs> That's okay. No problemo. It's not like I need to be friends with everyone. 
here I am just walking away, not bothered at all. Dum de dum, what a lovely day. Hmm. Uh oh, Capybara was starting to wonder what he did wrong. He thought he was doing all the things right that would make that sloth like him and want to be his friend. Oh no, he looks a little worried. Now he's going to try not to think about it. Hmm, do you think it's all over? Do you think it's all done? I don't know, let's see. Oh, please be my friend! Oh no, he was desperate. He wanted Sloth to be his friend so badly. I can make you a better, um, um, zen garden. Um, l let me know what you need. I'll be right, oh, here. What happened to Capybara? He's tiring himself out. He went back and he was making a new Zen garden because he just could not figure out why Sloth didn't want to be his friend when he saw Capybara trying to do all those nice things for him. Now poor Capybara was tiring himself out trying to be a good friend. And look at all his other friends starting to wonder if he's okay. Oh, no. Oh, I see movement. Look at Sloth. Notice something. Look with our eyes. The sun was out with the clouds, and it was taking Sloth so long to come down. It turned to night. So he moves super, super slow. <gasps> Hello, Capybara. Thanks for Capybara. He was so exhausted. But now look at Sloth's face. How do you think he's feeling? He does look happy, but he just moves so slow. Oh, I see. I see! And all this time I thought that you just... Which means, well, you really are my friend. We're all your friends, Capybara. We don't need anything. We just need you. Does anyone have a leaf? The tears of joy are coming. Look. He's feeling a little overwhelmed with some emotions. I think it's a joyful kind of teary cry and a relief kind of cry. Poor thing tired himself out trying to do all those things for all his friends that he wasn't really taking time for himself. Oh, let's see how this ends. Being a great friend means going above and beyond, but not all the time. 
Sometimes it means doing less. Got you a basket to carry all your twigs. I'm at the best part, but there are ants back that way. How does half a block sound? I'm meeting my friend Sloth. And sometimes being a great friend just means hanging out. It's such a happy day, the happiest day of days. Take it away, Sloth. They're making songs together. So let's go back to this page. Sloth was there for his friend, wasn't he? The bird wanted to carry sticks home. What do you think he was doing with them? Yeah, probably making a nest. You're right. And before, Capybara was trying to gather all the sticks and, and gather them all up and get them over to help Bird. But is he still helping him? Yeah, you're right. He's giving him a basket. That's a great friend that sees what Bird might need. Bird can't carry a whole bunch all at once, but maybe he can carry one basket with many different sticks in it. And a capybara was in the middle of a story. Did he ignore and not help the anteaters? Nope. Nope. But Capybara was also doing something that he liked. But he didn't want to ignore his friends. He gave them a really good clue and he said where the ants were. Looks like the anteaters like that advice and they're on their way. And here, remember, they needed a ride in the rain and he decided to take them all the way because they said they wanted a whole nother mile from him, even though it was raining. But Capybara said he wanted to make, um, it's called a compromise. A little bit of what he wanted and a little bit of what they wanted. And they came to an agreement in the middle. So Capybara said, how about a half a block? Because he wanted to do something too. That's called kind of setting up boundaries to make it healthy. So it's not just one friend doing all the work of making a friendship. It was both of them working together to make a friendship work. That sounds like a better idea because now, how does he look? Does he look all tired out? No, he looks like he even has a smile on his face. A real kind of smile from having time to enjoy the friendship together. Not just one person doing all the work. Whew, that would tire us out. And you know what else might happen from that? The one time maybe you couldn't do all that stuff for your friend, maybe they might get upset and wonder what's wrong with you and wonder why you're not helping them anymore. That could happen. Hmm. Ah. Being a friend can also mean that sometimes it means doing nothing at all and just enjoying the time together that you get to have and enjoying what's called the moment. Right? Sometimes when we get so busy trying to do things to keep a friend, we wind up missing out on the time to be together and just enjoying each other. You don't have to be talking all the time. You don't have to be moving and doing and, and going places all the time. Although a lot of people can find some joy in that. But sometimes we look and we see we didn't just get to be together. And that's what they're doing. Let's look at Sloth. How do you think he feels? He looks peaceful, joyful, content, happy. What do you think about Capybara? Do you think a lot of those same feelings might apply to him too? I do. And that makes me feel so happy because when he looks so sad and so tired out from trying to make a friend, that made me feel bad for him. And then what happened? All his hard work, 
he was disappointed because he felt like he couldn't do enough to make a friend. Oh. Now here, look at this beautiful picture. And Capybara says, take it from me. I have 4,382 friends. That's still a whole lot of friends. But I noticed something. Did you? When we started this story, do you remember what number he started at? 4,382. <laughs> 4, so he ended with a new friend. He added one more to his bunch. And he wound up adding that friend when he just kind of got to the end and had to stop. And then Sloth was going to tell him anyway that he wanted to join that song with his kazoo. <laughs> and have fun with him. And I can only imagine how he must have felt. Capybara was worn out and he was worried that he was doing something wrong. Meanwhile, it was just he was doing so much, he tired himself out. So being a friend can look like all the things that we said at the end. You can do all those great, wonderful, fun things for your friends, which is awesome. But you shouldn't have to, to keep a friend. What you really need to do is to be kind and listen and have fun together. That's really super important. Well, I hope that you had fun and that you had a little bit of a laugh. Oh, he really tired himself out, huh? <laughs> well, I'm glad it all worked out at the end when they decided that they can just enjoy being together, enjoy the moment and have some fun and laugh. And hey, if you've got a, a good friend, you know what? Tell them about it and start the conversation. Like I always say, it's good to let your friends know and using your words are so powerful. And we wanna make sure that we're using our words for good and we're encouraging each other just like you do by showing up for me and that I show up for you and we have so much fun going over these stories. Hey, I want you to have a great week ahead and I hope that you will enjoy your friends in a new way this week. All right, take care and come back again. Bye.